when did Democrats become so afraid of independent thought? Because they're definitely not encouraging it at all. Perhaps they don't like what they can't control. Some have sent threatening messages to me, interest groups and lobbying groups that are aligned with the Democrat Party have directly sent messages to my 12-year-old son, and that needs to stop. And we are honored today to have with us our newest member of the Republican Caucus, uh, Representative Tricia Cotham. Tricia, thank you. Good morning, and thank you for being here. I am Trisha Cotham. I am a single mom of two amazing sons, a teacher, a small business owner, a woman with strong faith, a national championship basketball coach, and a public servant. Today, I add Republican to that list. I have decided to change my party affiliation, joining the Republican Party, and have been welcomed with open arms by my colleagues, and I'm glad to call you all my colleagues. As long as I have been a Democrat, the Democrats have tried to be a big tent. But this now where we are, modern day Democratic Party, has become unrecognizable to me and to so many others throughout this state and this country. The party wants to villainize anyone who has free thought, free judgment, has solutions, who wants to get to work to better our state, not just sit in a meeting and have a workshop after a workshop, but really work with individuals to get things done, because that's what real public servants do. If you don't do exactly what the Democrats want you to do, they will try to bully you. They will try to cast you aside. I saw that when I first filed for office and was told, why didn't you ask for our permission? I didn't think I needed to do that as a female. And quite frankly, I was offended. But when I came back to this legislature, I knew times were different and things had changed. I also knew that I was different. I had been through a lot in life, and so I am just different too, and I'm proud of that. It became very clear to me early on in January that you better vote in line with everything Governor Cooper tells you to do, from signing on to bills, to he wanted to pick your seat on the House floor, to your committee request, all of this sense of control. I will not be controlled by anyone. I have always been a free thinker, a woman of faith, a person of independent judgment, and of common sense. I have always tried to work across the aisle from day one. And I'm proud of that work because that means we are working together as statesmen and stateswomen. Unfortunately, that is talk in the Democratic Party that that's a good thing, but there is little action when it comes to that. And if I do that, I was considered a traitor, I was told, a spy. Please don't come to, to caucus. You'll tell everything we know. That is a terrible mentality, and that's just wrong of what's happening in politics. I've suffered many attacks since I've been up here from Democrats in the party, from blasting me on Twitter to calling me names, to going after my family, going after my children. That is wrong. 
and I will not stand for that. I will not be bullied by them, and I will protect my children and my family. One of the absolute worst moments, which was a deal breaker, a turning point for me, was when I was criticized for using the American flag and the praying hands emoji on all my social media platforms and even on the back of different vehicles that I have. I really could not believe that was the conversation that was happening at that time. And I was deeply offended. Um, I am proud to be an American. I am proud of our country. I am proud of the men and women in my family who have served. To say that that is wrong and not to be able to show off a flag because the others hijack it for something else. Why are we at this place in politics? That is really unacceptable and needs to change. I want to be a part of that change agent for the greater good of our state, for the greater good of all the public servants behind me and all back there. I firmly believe that it is my responsibility as a legislator to learn everything I can, to ask questions, to hear perspectives before deciding how to vote. When did Democrats become so afraid of independent thought? Because they're definitely not encouraging it at all. Perhaps they don't like what they can't control. It became very clear to me this was about control on day one at the legislature. They picked the wrong chick for that. <laughs> they have pushed me out. They have made it very clear from the day I filed back in March of last year that they did not want me and tried to do everything they could to defeat me. They have lied on me. Women in the House caucus have said vicious and started vicious rumors that are very hypocritical of other stances that they make, attacking me on Twitter, in person to my face, attacking my mother, and saying something to my boys. That is wrong and hypocritical. Some have sent threatening messages to me. Interest groups and lobbying groups that are aligned with the Democrat Party have directly sent messages to my 12-year-old son. And that needs to stop. And it's not just been one time. One of the worst moments was when I took my little boy to Target. And you know, you go to Target, it inspires you. You see what you might need to buy, you never know. And so we were exploring different things, looking at RC cars and Nerf guns. And out of nowhere, a woman came, and she cussed me out, up and down, screaming at me, trying to remain composure in that moment, but most importantly, protecting my son, my baby. And for him to have to witness that and see how a grown woman would act and try to even explain it was wrong. But children teach us the best lessons, and they really help us in moments like this. Because my son used my iPad and wrote me the sweetest note. I don't even know how to write notes on my iPad. <laughs> I'm sure he can teach me. But just encouraging me, he recognized this and said how wrong it was. Those are just a few events. Go on Twitter right now see all the threats against me, see the hypocrisy, see the, the attack lines inciting, encouraging violence on me. That's what's happening. It's all over right now. So they can keep bullying me. People say, does it bother you? It bothers me that they're hypocritical. Yes. This is not the place for in politics. This doesn't help women in politics because they have a tendency even though they say they're the party of women, they certainly will slice and dice you in a second with malicious, vicious, untrue rumors and do not celebrate your success. And these women behind me from day one 
we have become very close. These are my girls, as I like to say, but I am lucky now to be a part of a real group of men and women who believe in me. I'm not a politician. I'm no longer a Democrat. But I remain a public servant. That is what I am called to do. The party that best represents me and my principles and what's best for North Carolina is the Republican Party. It's an honor to be here today. I thank you all so very much. Glad to be on the team.